The UK government is considering sending troops to Gaza to help deliver through aid through a new sea route. The plan would have British forces with transport aid through a new pier being built by the US. Sean Bell has more. Israel may have uh, sustained a slight pause in the fighting in Gaza, but that doesn't mean that humanitarian situation on the ground has abated at all. Aid is available, it's just struggling to get in. Israelis control the land routes. The air routes, the airdrops have actually proved quite dangerous and it's very limited supply. Uh, therefore, the only route really is via the maritime route to get the volumes involved uh, there. The US announced the intention to put a pier in place back in March and the ship set sail from the US ready to deliver that. And they claimed that within 60 days, they'd have a facility set up off the coast of Gaza that could offload two million meals a day. There's only two weeks to go before that uh, timeline. Now, a US Army ship, we understand, has actually arrived in the region and is already building a pontoon off, um, uh, off the coast of Gaza itself. Where is this going to be built? Um, the, so there's the flo aid's flowing down, but whereabouts in Gaza is actually the aid going to be offloaded? We've got a little pier that the um, World Central Kitchen was using as the central pier. You can see a little um, hub up there. Now, this is expected to be where the US will build. What are they going to build? Well, we've got some video here of what the US has actually been using in training. I reiterate, this is not in Gaza itself, but what you need to do is have the ships that carry vast quantities of aid operate in the deep water. Somehow you've got to get that aid through the shallow water and onto the shore. But the US have been very clear that they're not going to put boots on the ground to actually take it ashore. The UK is helping. They're using the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, a ship called Cardigan Bay, which is going to be used to accommodate some of the US servicemen and feed them as well. But as to who's going to actually get this aid ashore, the US has simply said they will have a third party partner to deliver that. And that's led to widespread speculation that potentially US forces, sorry, UK forces could be used for that. The challenge is ultimately the only effective way to get this aid ashore is to build some sort of temporary secure area ashore, which is run by the military, the United Nations or whoever, and then allow the aid agencies to distribute from there. There are clear risks, though, involved in this operation, first of which is that actually every time aid arrives on the ground, the situation is desperate on the ground in Gaza at the moment. People are fighting each other to get hold of the aid. That presents a real danger to any military personnel or United Nations personnel and the aid workers. And the second problem is, of course, putting um, people on the ground in the middle of a war zone carries inherent risks, particularly given the fact that the Israelis are keen to go into Rafa in the near term and potentially take on the four battalions of Hamas that are resident there. Regardless this, this is going to be an incredibly complex operation. We don't know all the details of yet, as yet, but it's vital it succeeds if the, the, the desperate needs of the Gazan and the Palestinians are met uh, over the coming days and weeks.